Got a hot tip the market's going to crash? The recent sell-off may have had you questioning whether you should have taken that hot tip to sell out your portfolio at the market top. Did you know that this strategy is more likely to result in missed opportunity than staying invested? Let's go through it. Let's bring up a recent example. This is the TSX over a five-year period. I can take you all the way back till March 2020. That's using the previous example. Now, what you think may happen is that you're going to be selling here when the market is right at the top, and then you're going to be buying back right at the bottom here. But in reality, it's very hard to time the market because at the top, you're probably feeling really, really good. And so the last thing you want to do is sell out your portfolio. And then when it hits the bottom, the last thing you're going to want to do emotionally is buy back because of course it seems like the absolute wrong thing to do and everybody telling you, don't buy back. It's the wrong thing to do. The world is ending. The world is crashing. So in reality, what's more likely to happen is this. You don't sell out your portfolio until you start really feeling nervous, which would be here. And then you buy back when you're finally feeling comfortable, which is here. Notice the difference. You've probably locked in your losses and don't forget that you missed out on dividend income while you were gone. You also have to be right twice, once on the way out and once on the way in. It's really, really hard to do. It's basically virtually impossible unless you get lucky. The best thing to do if you think that the market may be peaking is to take profits. I don't know anyone who went broke taking a profit. It's always a good thing to do some trimming. Trim up things have done very well for you and take a breather. But selling out your portfolio is generally not a good idea. You're better off to stay invested. I'm Anna Hilberry. Thank you so much for listening.